From the Royal Yacht Britannia, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh disembark at Douglas Harbour for their tour of the Isle of Man. The Queen is welcomed by the island's Lieutenant Governor, Sir Ambrose Dundas, who introduces Lady Dundas and their daughter. From the harbour, the Royal Route is along Douglas Promenade, where islanders and holidaymakers cheer the Queen on her way. Who could be better to escort Her Majesty than a squad of TT riders in their racing kit? The Queen is shown the clock of her great ancestor, Elizabeth I, in Castle Russian. She is invited to wind up the clock, which has measured the passing of the island's history with its single hand for 358 years. The mechanism may look crude by modern standards, but it was built to last. Next port of call for the royal family's floating home is in Scotland at Cairn Ryan, Wigtonshire. It's not only an official tour for the Queen and Duke, it's a holiday for their children and a most exciting one. Detailed to look after Prince Charles and Princess Anne are two sailor uncles who have their hands full. The Duke's mother, Princess Andrew of Greece, keeps an eye on them too. At the Queen's request, the sailor uncles call the royal children Charles and Anne without titles. On the quayside, the Lord Lieutenant of Wigtonshire, Colonel the Earl of Stair, welcomes the Queen and the Duke onto Scottish soil. Looking after any small boy is mainly a matter of answering questions. No official occasions for the royal children this time. They stay behind while their parents leave for the Stranra Agricultural Show. There, as always, the royal couple's first interest is the people who produce the entries before the entries themselves. But when it comes to the entries, like these Highland cattle, they certainly make a fine showing. Afterwards, there are the prizes to present. Then the goodbye, as warm and friendly as everywhere on their tour. While they've been away, Princess Anne has had her first ride on a bicycle, so there's plenty to tell mother and father. Prince Charles concentrates on keeping his hair in order. Concentrates a bit too hard, perhaps. This is becoming a real family gathering. Princess Margaret has joined them. And Prince Michael of Kent, who is becoming quite a sailor himself. There's little time for family holidays with parents as busy as the Queen and Duke. Thanks to the Britannia, duty can be combined with family relaxation. <laughs> 